Well, hello and welcome. I'm not going to have much of a topic today. It's me. I'm here to state I'm here. <laughs> I am still working like crazy. Things are winding down, so about another three, four weeks, and then hopefully things get back to normal where I can relax a little bit, do some live streams because I miss doing the live streams with everyone and more. I gotta say, talk about the One Ring has been very interesting. I am still following up with that. Uh, of course, I had my final thoughts video on the lottery aspect of it, but CBC is now reporting that the One Ring was picked up and flown out to California and returned the next day to Toronto, which is very interesting in itself, but there's not really much context there because that was just what they got from the marketing agency that is representing the person that pulled the One Ring. Um, what are things going on? You know, I, I gotta say, I've had a couple interesting days at work where I get up, I go to work, and uh, just things happen very, very strangely. And I just wanted to share one of them with you, with everyone. Uh, I woke up the one morning, went, had to get breakfast at McDonald's. I, I don't like doing it because I usually have enough food in the house, but we didn't have enough food. Um, and when you work six days a week, it makes it very hard to get to the grocery store. So every once in a while, I have to stop on the way to work. And uh, then I found out about the new bag tax that the city of Edmonton has put on paper bags. They, they say uh, companies now have to charge a minimum 15 cents a paper bag, which actually goes up next year to a quarter. It goes to 25 cents a paper bag. This is after they banned all plastic bags and plastic cutlery and single-use plastic items that has come down from the federal government and now the city of Edmonton is doing this on top of everything. That is a, trage a tragedy. I, I gotta say, paper, one of the most recyclable, biodegradable items in the world is now being taxed or being forced to be sold at a certain level that is nowhere close to consumer friendly. This is pricing people out. If you go to the grocery store and you pick up a paper bag, it doesn't hold worth squat. You can't you can't pack more than three cans of food in it before the thing rips out. And thus goes to the recyclable bags that are absolutely a, a vein on existence. I have a closet. I, I, I am not lying when I say this. I have a closet full of these bags and I haven't spent a dime on them. They, they're just ones that have been given out as uh, gifts when you go to conventions, when you do all these other things. Uh, you, hell, the library was giving them out at one point. And now if you want to buy these bags in the store, they're a minimum $1 as per the city of Edmonton. This is absolutely ridiculous for recycling for bags that can't be recycled in the long run they just get reused to the point that once you're done with them you have nowhere to put them but the trash they don't go in recycling they they just go into the garbage you can't take them to value village because they don't want them there there's not enough of these things to go around yet there's too many of them for a lot of us to deal with it's absolutely ridiculous then I saw a video of uh, a lady um, doing something with her truck where she gets arrested and for an $80 ticket then she sped off and then she was uh, arrested by the police officer. She kicked the police officer uh, and that came down to where she uh, plead guilty to much lesser fines and paid like a thousand dollars worth of fines where it would have been an easy $80. That was something that was running around on, on social media. It was a very interesting story. That's something to go look at. But I gotta get back to my, uh, my day at that point because once I arrived at work, I, uh, I, I went to go to the bathroom and the thing that strikes me as very odd was on the rim of the toilet, the toilet seat is up, there is a cup full of water. Literally a styrofoam cup sitting on the ring of the toilet, full of water. And this is the type of stuff that I work in. This is the, the environment and the people around me. And I gotta say that was something that I never expected. I would ever see in my lifetime uh, at a work site. This was something that uh, I'm very, very peculiar at and uh, it just kind of turned me off 
very, very, very much. Uh, you know, I understand one thing where you have a cup of water maybe by a sink, but when you have it on the rim of the toilet, it's a little bit more. You, you, you got to wonder how many germs are being spread there. You got to wonder how, how gross that is. And uh, it, it's just, it's not something that I, I see on a regular basis. And when I saw that, I was like, what is going on here? Where am I working? Am I, am I still in Canada? Is this actually what we do? And I just kind of, I, I, I shook my head at it and went, okay, okay, that's fine. Let's move on with the day. It put me in a bad mood from, from the 15 cent bag levy to, to a, a styrofoam cup full of water on a toilet rim. I, I, I just had one of these days at work where I was like, I need to take a step back here and actually try and figure out w where I am. And, and it's, this is the, the whirlwind that I tend to live in, uh, for, for work. It's, I go and put wires under blocks and, and make connections with wires. I don't go to work to try and see someone possibly drinking out of a toilet. That's not something that I normally see in a regular day. It, it's, it, it took me back and it still takes me back right now because it's still something that I see and I just go, yeah, that's the world I live in right now. So anyway, things are still doing okay. I'm still working. I'm still, uh, we're putting in all those heavy, heavy hours and it's absolutely insane. And hey, if you guys are in the Discord, do me a favor and just send me cat videos or, or dog videos. Something I can laugh at because some days I do need that pickup because that's where we are right now. That's where I am. I'm at, very tired. I am uh, beside myself at certain things that I see every day. And the, the there's just so many other th details in the world where I go, Maybe they just won't implode on themselves like a submarine did very, very recently. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix. We will rise again. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.